Manston o bislegos kang pen rally Karen Champs Hello you are welcome to my channel A supporter of the Labour Party LOP presidential candidate P2P turn off for the Lagos campaign rally Karen Champs according to Naja News Ele reported that a massive crowd of supporters stormed the Tafala Belewa Square in Lagos as the former governor of Anambra State concludes his state rally today. A video that he marked online captured a man, Karen Okide, a charm popularly known in the eastern part of Nigeria. The man was being cheered by some of the LUP supporters at the campaign venue as he made some incantation. Okite is a concussion of different type of animals, halves, and human parts gathered in a mob, pot tied with white clothes, boiling to perform booming functions. Although it is uncertain if the Okite, which the Labour Party is carrying, had everything that is usually contained in it. Meanwhile, Popular activist and skit maker, Debo Adebayo, better known by his stage name, Mr. Macroni, has this O, a campaign flyer of the presidential candidate of Labour Party, LOP. Mr. Macroni, who recently said that the LOP candidate P2B is someone he would be proud to call his president. However, noted in a tweet post that he would not participate in any campaign for any politician after a flyer with his photo and that of Obi surfaced on social media. Writing to the flyer, Macroni on Twitter said, I will address this again for clarity sake. I am voting for P2B because he is my preferred choice. Now, my analysis. First of all, the pot being carried by one of the Labour Party youth was not actually a charm. Because I know that some of you will be there now, reasoning zero to zero. That was not actually a charm. That was something we call amancy, just to make crowd happy. Just to make crowd happy. It's like a form of show that was not actually the real okite being performed in Ibola. so for some of you who believes that it was juju there was nothing like that we have to put it the way it is you know these days all these news channel they will continue to lie because they want to cause problem but this is just the truth. And again, about Mr. Macroni and what he said about someone using his uh, picture for flyer of Labour Party. He was also right. And I believe this was done by some people who believe so much in Labour Party. without the knowledge of the presidential candidate or the even knowledge of the members of the Labour Party. But the most important thing that is this. As in Nigeria, he accepted that he preferred P2P and he will vote for him. So this is not something to be discussed. Not everybody who will like his picture to be used, attached in a political party. Because people are being careful. I actually love what he did. He behaved mature. Not like some people that I used to know. Who claim they were part of NSAS protests upon that? They are busy calling P2B 
an impostor. Call him desperate. Call him opportunist. These are people who claim that they are educated. These are people who claim that they are son of a man who respects so much. But they are so stupid. We all we are in the answers. We know what we went through. And they claim that we try to overthrow the government. That we should go and uh, showcase our angriness on election. And that is what the youth are doing today. But someone somewhere is trying to deceive them because people like Sore has continued to cause problems. Let me tell you something. I'm not a fan of politics. I'm not a fan of Nigerian politics. But let me tell you something today. If someone like Sore become president of Nigeria, Nigeria will be in doom. He is someone that knows so well. He cannot. He will destroy Nigeria. The remaining that was left by President Buhari. The truth should be told. If I happen to be one of those who believe so much in Nigeria election, Peter B would have been my preferred presidential candidate. So people should stop reading themselves around. They have tried so much to see if there is a way they can blackmail him. But they could not see anything. Look at the kind of thing that someone like Seu Kuto, whatever he calls himself, was vomiting for his mouth. Because he has nothing against him. There is nothing he could find against him. Not like Tini Booth, that he goes, who has destroyed Nigeria, billion fine criminals. Some of them are even terrorists. And they want to be president of Nigeria. The first time in history that a, an Igbo man is coming out to be a president of Nigeria. Apart from the so-called ceremonial president given to Zik. The first time. Politically, that an Igbo man want to be a president of Nigeria. Even after they have continued to aid other Nigerians become president. Today, people like Felasson is insulting the man, calling him an uh, opportunist. A ton that will fire that thing. Because he said son, bad bomb bastard. Does he think we don't know where he's coming from? Does he think we don't know his track record? Does he think we don't know his history? Felasson, Felasson, we'll go here what? One day we will tell you your history. Anumpama. I think I've come to the end of this news.